Hey everybody, Randy with Lowbuck LS here again, uh, back in the shop, uh, continuing to uh, work on my exhaust manifold here. So I think I've changed the plan a bit though. I'll just, can't really see the camera, I'm kind of holding it above my head, but uh, I was going to go with three of these coped weld elbows here, but uh, I think it'll keep things more compact if I just do the two weld elbows onto the straight piece and then use a, a straight non-coped piece so basically the the turbo there might be a short there'll be a, a short section of pipe and the turbo flange will sit up here and then down on this end um, I think I'll swedge it down to like a two and a half inch and put a two and a half inch v-band down here for the uh, crossover pipe to hook up to but that's basically the configuration that uh, the manifold will have I think for the the first uh, rendition anyways so I'm gonna work on uh, welding stuff together now getting these elbows tacked on to the uh, exhaust flange and then getting holes cut in this uh, straight piece and start putting stuff together so I'll pause the the action now and uh, pick up when I've got a little bit more done. Talk to you soon. Okay, so uh, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, tack these weld elbows that I coped out in the last video, get them tacked onto this manifold flange. So I found uh, that a one inch uh, electrical conduit bushing, I'm an electrician, so we had some of these laying around the shop here. It fits right inside this uh, weld elbow, so I'm gonna use that to uh, basically center this piece and hold it hold it where it needs to be while I weld it so and I've got this protractor set at 75 degrees so yeah I just want to it's kind of hard to see exactly but I'm gonna set this weld elbow at 75 degrees to the manifold flange and get her tacked down there So there you can see I've got those two uh, middle weld elbows tacked onto the manifold flange there now. So next thing I want to do is I'll have to uh, measure out and mark the holes in the main pipe there where those weld elbows connect to and get those holes cut out. So I'm just going to tack this main pipe, um, tack these weld elbows onto it for now just so I can kind of mark out where uh, where the holes need to be. Oh, guess I got to turn my welder on. Not very pretty welds, I know, but I'm not a welder. I might actually end up just getting it tacked together and then get someone who knows what they're doing to finish the welding, but uh, 
Uh, for now, just sticking stuff together. So now I'm gonna mark out these holes. Flip that around. Okay, now I got those holes marked out. I'm gonna bust those tacks off and uh, figure out how I'm gonna cut those holes. <laughs> okay, so I got the outline of the holes uh, marked out here. So I'm just gonna mark the, the center of them. Try and mark the center of them this way too. Actually, I'll just kind of eyeball these ones. And now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna cut these holes. I'm thinking uh, probably a drill and a hole saw. So let me get set up to do that and I will uh, start this up again uh, a little later. Okay, so I found a hole saw here that uh, is uh, the same diameter, I think it's a two inch hole saw, same diameter as those inch and a half weld elbows. So I've got uh, the main piece of the manifold um, tightened down into the vise here. And I'm gonna try and drill in at about that same 75 degree angle that uh, those uh, weld elbows are tacked onto the manifold at so hopefully the hole should be the same angle as uh, the weld elbows and should work out fairly de decently if uh, as long as the hole saw doesn't catch and I don't break my wrist or something silly so I'm going to uh, get the drill set up and make an attempt at uh, cutting these holes out. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, so uh, I got those holes cut in the main pipe here. We'll see how uh, everything fits together. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can see uh, I got those holes cut in the main pipe and they line up pretty darn good to uh, where those weld elves are. So uh, yeah, I think I'll get those tacked in there. And uh, yeah, move on to the next step. Okay, so I got those weld elbows tacked onto the uh, main three inch body of the manifold and I've just got this 45 held on there with a magnet and uh, this 90 held up there to show you kind of more what the finished product is going to look like. Um, I think on future uh, renditions, I might this gap here is a little bit bigger than I'd like to see. I'll be able to fill it with weld, but I think for uh, the next uh, revision, I'll use try and find a hole saw that's about an eighth of an inch smaller or so. But uh, other than that, it turned out not too bad. So uh, I'll uh, keep working here and uh, check in with you again when I've got a bit more to show. Okay, so I got that 45... Uh, where the uh, crossover tube is eventually going to connect. I've got that tacked onto the main body now. Now I'm just going to uh, tack on this. I'm not even going to do any coping or anything on this one. It looks like it's going to fit pretty close there. Um, tack this one into place and then uh, mark it out to cut a hole for this uh, piece here. So I got my hole marked out right there where... Uh, this last uh, or second last weld, weld elbow will uh, get drilled. So now I'm going to get out the hole saw again and uh, drill that one out. Okay, so I got that hole drilled out now for this last uh, elbow here. And I think I'm going to need a little short piece of pipe because the gap's about quarter, five sixteenths of an inch, which is just a little too big to fill with weld, I think. So, uh, that's the next step is to uh, 
just cut a short little chunk of pipe and tack it onto that elbow and I can get that put together. So to cut this little spacer piece, I'm going to use that chop saw coping method again. So I've cut a 15 degree angle here and I'm going to cut another 15 degree angle this way and then just cut a short little spacer here out of a inch and a half pipe nipple that I bought at Princess Auto. So yeah, I'll make one more cut here and then hopefully it should made up nicely to uh, yeah this other part here. So I'll make that cut and uh, show you when I got that done. So that 15 degree business didn't really work out. So I ended up just making a straight cut and then just uh, kind of notching out the, the pipe a little bit. So it uh, fit on there just like that. And I'll just cut a, a real short spacer of this to uh, mate up to that uh, weld elbow. So there's that little uh, spacer I made to fill up the gap on that uh, third weld elbow. So here's where we're at. We got three out of the uh, four uh, weld elbows connected. Now I just got to weld that 90 in on the front and uh, figure out what I'm going to do to connect that uh, front cylinder in. So it's coming along. Okay, so now I've got that uh, 90 degree 3 inch weld elbow tacked onto the front and I'm going to put a, another piece of my salvaged 3 inch oil field pipe on here and then just cut a little piece to uh, run that last cylinder in, into the main uh, part of the manifold here. Okay, in order to cut this last, I'm gonna use a, a 45 degree weld L and I've just got it kind of held in there with a magnet and I'm gonna mark it right on the edge of this uh, three inch piece. And then I'm gonna cut it a little long cause I'm gonna have to notch it out again. And same as before, there's no way you can clamp this little piece into the chop saw to cut it. So I just got it tacked to a piece of C channel again and we'll put her in the chop saw and chop her up. Okay, so now I got this uh, little 45 degree weld L cut and notched out a bit to made up with the, the last, uh, last hole here. So that is gonna sit in there just like that i'll get it where it needs to be and then mark out that hole and then i'll have to have to uh, break it apart right here break the tacks and uh drill out that hole with the hole saw again so that's my next step talk to you in a bit okay so now i got that hole for the last uh cylinder runner got that marked out so I'm going to throw that in the vise and uh, hole saw that out. Okay so I got that hole, uh, hole sawed out where this uh, last uh, little uh, 45 degree weld elbow will get welded in for that last runner so I'll tack that together. So I got that last little piece uh, cut and tacked in there and we got the hole blown in that so that will I just got to notch that out a little bit better to close up that gap but getting close okay so I made some decent progress tonight uh, it's pretty well uh, all the pieces are cut and tacked together um, basically it's gonna need uh, a T4. I don't really want to cut this yet because until I got it in the engine bay, I don't know exactly. And until I have the turbo here, I don't really know exactly where that turbo is going to fit. So it's going to need a, a T4 turbo flange up here. And then on this end, I plan on uh, swedging it down to two and a half and putting a two and a half inch V band clamp on there. But um, other than that, and finish finish welding it um yeah it's uh, pretty much together so uh, i'm gonna call it a night 
thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe if uh, you're interested in this stuff and uh, have a good night we'll talk to you next time